lovelies happy monday meditation monday and this is now my second attempt to record this morning it is um you know how things or signs occur from the universe and when they do they are so blatantly obvious or in your face that you kind of honor it and go okay well i recorded my full video this morning and uh Obviously the Mondays are shorter than the Fridays because they're more of a walking meditation than an update. But I did talk a little bit about what I was doing or what the overall plan and intention was at the moment. And obviously the particular format or the wording that I was using was, was um, I've, I've been told to kind of keep it a little bit more under the table, or particularly for public broadcasts. So yeah, where are we? What, what are we doing? I hope you all had a beautiful weekend and you treated yourselves well and that you've enjoyed what you were doing and um and how we and and are settling into this kind of like incredible daily quantity or download of light that we're receiving i'm seeing different people report about different qualities of light coming in from the from the various portals around the universe some of you are picking up the huge amounts of galactic downloads are coming from the Pleiades, some of you from Sirius. Um, from what I can see, they're coming from multiple points simultaneously, and this is happening on a daily basis, like a daily down, uh, a daily deluge of light. And um, obviously our job at the moment is to integrate it, utilize it, and put it into a workable format in the planet around us. And, between now and the Lionsgate is one of the most auspicious periods of time that we will ever exist in on this planet. Never again will we ever experience the uniqueness of the energy that we are currently experiencing. Some of us are thriving, some of us are kind of struggling with it a little bit. but. Wherever you are, however you are perceiving and, and, and experiencing this, <clears throat> you will never again have the uniqueness of the intertwined realities that we are, we are living in. Now, one of the energies that is particularly abundant at the moment is the gold ray of Christ, okay, or, or golden Christed energy. Every single master archangel, unicorn, anybody who's working above the benchmark of polarity will all carry an aspect of the gold ray of Christ or the, the golden Christ of energy or the gold ray, whichever way you want to perceive it or, or, or refer to it. Some people kind of get a little bit of a trigger point when, when the word Christ is used because it has the religious connotations and many of that, much of that is being released at the moment. But Christ consciousness is the universal consciousness of higher love. And that particular energy is the one that is being applied to the, our ever-changing higher matrix as we kind of gradually extract ourselves from the old one and move into it. Every time we get an equinox, every time we get a solstice, every time we get an event of significance, this gold ray comes in at a very high frequency. Most of it now is as a, uh, the gold ray of Christ as ninth dimensional. So a lot of the, if you, if you look at it for, uh, as, words, as words and numbers, 9D is a lot higher than we are, okay? When we were in 3D, 9D was almost completely imperceptible. We knew about it, we could connect with it, but we wouldn't be able to see it, feel it, and utilize it like we are at the moment. Our frequency is a lot higher everywhere on this planet than it used to be. Although this might seem like a bit of a paradox when you kind of see what's going on or around or the, the, the quality of the changes that's occurring. As I've said many times previously, this is all being, <clears throat> this is all being instigated by the application, these layers, and these downloads of higher light. That, that's, that's what's creating the change, that's what's creating the turmoil. Now, one of the things that I'm particularly focused on with my work at the moment, this is not so much the individual process, but the planetary process, is how to most effectively do what we've got to do in the short space of time that we've got to do it. And I will be looking 
or talking about that more on Wednesday night when Mia Kafkios and I run our workshop together, which is at 8 p.m. UK time, um, 9 p.m. onwards from from all European points. And uh, I hope you join us for that. If you're not joining us, then I'll have more information on Friday uh, with my Ascension update, which I'm looking to, to go into at, at, at quite a deep level. So if I wasn't supposed to talk about it today, hopefully I'll be able to talk about it on Friday, but it's quite quite energy specific. It's about what we are doing or what we need to do, or what the best course of action is to actually provide ourselves with a clean <clears throat> and, and effective extraction or remove ourselves from the kind of the control the controlling aspects of the 3d matrix that we've been living in one of the fastest ways to do it on a daily basis to keep yourself above that that particular benchmark of energy is to keep your frequency high that is ultimately the way through this providing that your frequency is high that your light is clear you're not being burdened by too much around you despite the fact that you might have actually agreed to challenges and initiations then that is the clear that is the clearest that's the shortest path from a to b and one of the energies that i i like using the most or or that i always is, is one of the base foundation energies that i always find the most comfortable and the most effective to use is the gold ray of christ it is literally our foundation energy so this morning i'm just going to run through a <clears throat> invocation for the gold ray of christ now the thing about invocations is a lot of people think that they've got to be word for word say i write a, an invocation on my website and it's worded a certain way quite often and i used to think this myself that you couldn't change the wording because it would change the energy format but the energy format is in your delivery it's in your intention so you can put in or remove whatever you want to you can shape any invocation any request or any decree to be specific for your requirements you don't have to do whatever i'm saying or whatever the book is saying or whatever that particular website is saying so either do this this morning as as i'm presenting it or you can change it you can add energies to it you can change the wording to suit your needs but this is an invocation which has been it's Diana Cooper has had it in her books. Joshua David Stone has had it in his books. It is an invocation to the gold ray of Christ. So it goes a little bit like this. When we, when I invoke it, I always invoke it via my monad or my oversoul to ensure that that energy that coming is coming in is managed at a perfect frequency for me. And I always say it three times. So I'm just going to run with this through with you three times. And it's a perfect way to start the week. So just take a few deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose. Breathing into your heart center. And with your first breath, you activate your fifth dimensional heart center. Second breath, begin to feel your heart center expanding. You might even feel it expanding from shoulder to shoulder. So breathe in deeply. Into your heart and feel it fill your chest. It is not a small constricted chakra in the center of the body anymore. It is a vast portal of light. Acknowledge it, use it, feel it, breathe into it. And on the third breath, start to sense and feel it shining very brightly, becoming highly receptive to the energies that we have around us in the universe. Now, say these words either out loud or in your head and uh, you can either change them or you can repeat them along with me i call now upon my monad to please activate for me the gold ray of christ for my protection balance and illumination and the second you say those words your monad has connected you to the gold ray of christ feel it fill it in you physically mentally emotionally and spiritually breathe this into your lungs feel yourself lighting up bright radiant gold 
I now call upon my monad to please activate for me the gold ray of Christ for my protection, my balance and my illumination. You might feel it coming down in a column down through your chakras or you might just feel every cell of your body lighting up simultaneously. Feel your meridians within your body lining up. Feel the cells of your body refining their vibration and just feel your breath quietly flowing into your heart centre. Take another deep breath in. Breathe out. <clears throat> I now call upon my monad to please activate for me the gold ray of Christ for my protection, my balance and my illumination. And upon the third, the energy becomes set within your bodies and fields. <clears throat> Now you might want to start breathing this energy out into your spiritual fields which extend for a vast vast area all around you some of you might even be extending up to 15 miles around you which is quite a long way so just breathe in breathe out the gold ray of christ and just take a few moments to settle that energy in I'm just saying it one more time so that if you aren't familiar with this that you are aware of the flow. I now call upon my monad to please access for me the gold ray of Christ for my protection, my balance and my illumination. And just carry this into your new week with you. You can do this multiple times a day. You can even use that particular. I quite, I, sometimes I will use that as an affirmation. I am the gold ray of Christ. I am the gold ray of Christ. I am the gold ray of Christ. And you will be, you will manifest the qualities of the gold ray of Christ. Okay, so if, if I'm seeing you, on, if Mia and I are seeing you on Wednesday night, look forward to seeing you there. If not, hope you have a beautiful week and I will catch you again on Friday. Sending you all loads of love. Bye for now.